I knew pink was my favorite color and they were all pink, all of them. July 3rd will always be in Yolanda Venzor's mind. He said, here, my, I brought you some flowers. I didn't see you for your, your birthday, but I'm bringing you some flowers. <laughs> it was the last day I saw him. A week and a half later, this mom got a call from an Adams County investigator. Her son, Mario Ortega, was shot by an Adams County deputy. He didn't survive. He took care of me like I was his queen. The Adams County Sheriff's Office hasn't said much about the shooting, but surveillance video obtained by Nine News shows some of it. It's just heartbroken knowing that your kid died and he's been shot. And all the unanswered questions and what was he doing there, I don't know. On surveillance cameras, Ortega is seen backing into a parking space at a motel when a sheriff's office vehicle pulls up. A deputy gets out of his car, immediately pulling his gun. He goes around the back of the car, confronts Ortega, who appears to hold an object to his head, then shoots him. Out of the video we see, the officer was not at risk. He was not threatened whatsoever. Mario's sister Sarah has watched that video and related to her mom who can't bear to watch it. He didn't turn on the lights. He didn't call. There was not a 911 call. The family has questions. What made him think my brother was so suspicious? Why was he shot? What what did he deserve to get shot? They want to see the deputy's body camera video to try to figure out what led up to this. Well, first, we're going to leave my brother to rest. That's our priority right now at this moment. After that, we are going to seek justice. Now, Venzer says her son got out of jail in December and moved from Alamosa to northern Colorado. He was just starting to get his life together. He had a great job, wasn't in trouble. This is why this all of this surprised them. The sheriff's office told me today that the critical incident response team did meet with the family, but couldn't provide all the details of this case due to the sensitivity of the investigation, which is still ongoing, Tom. Any idea what that means as far as them not being able to share some of the details with the family due to the sensitivity of the investigation? I mean, quite often, a lot of these things are kept internally while they investigate. It's just part of any investigation. Police will often try to hold on to details of an investigation. The thing that they are looking into potentially doing now is filing a complaint, which would then activate Colorado law, which would allow them to see the body camera video from this encounter. Uh, but they say right now their focus is on, on laying him to rest and then trying to initiate a process like that. Yeah, there certainly is more to come. All yeah. right, Steve, thank you.